everyone. Today I want to start in Luke 24 verse 38. It says, why are you troubled and why do your thoughts, why do thoughts arise in your heart? This was Jesus asking his disciples, but it pertains to us too. Why are you troubled? We're told over and over in the Bible to cast our cares on him, to bring everything to him, to come to him. He wants to take care of us. He wants to take care of our needs, all of them. But we have to control our thoughts. We have to make our thoughts line up with the word of God. We have to make our mind mind what we, what we want it to do. <laughs> we have to make it do what we want it to do. Uh, Philippians 4, uh, verse 6 says uh, that when we need to make our request known unto God. And then verse 7 says this, And the peace of God, then, the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and minds through Christ Jesus. He wants to keep our mind settled. He wants to help us with our thinking so we have correct thinking, so that we have faith-filled thinking, so that we don't go around with negativity and depression and uh, defeat. We control our, our actions. We control what we think when we want to. We control where we're gonna go on vacation. We think through it and we plan for it. We control our thoughts when it's something we wanna watch or what we wanna to listen to. Uh, when it comes to something we wanna make, we think about the recipe, we think about what we need to buy, we make lists and we, we go out and do those things. But why do we neglect it when it comes to depression or defeat or negativity? We need to always be mindful to control what we think. Uh, there's another verse here in Isaiah 26, 3. It says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. We need to keep our mind on the Lord. Period. <laughs> Anything that's good and lovely and, and be of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, we're supposed to think on those things. I'll put these verses down in the bottom for you. Go through and read these this week. But I want you to be mindful that when negative thoughts come to your brain, that you filter them through the Word of God. If it's things uh, such as healing, you need healing. Had a bee on my foot. <laughs> if it's things you need like healing, find verses uh, such as 1 Peter 2, 24. By whose stripes you were healed. If it's feeling of loneliness, Hebrews 13, 5, I will never leave you nor forsake you. If you're weary, Matthew 11:28 28 says, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Find verses for those things that are plaguing your mind and quote those instead. The powerful word of God will help you. I promise you, his word never returns void. So this week, control your thoughts. Make your mind mind. Make it mind you. Make it be in subjection to the good things you're supposed to be thinking. And have a good week.